my brothers and sisters in Christ. As you probably know, traditionally, we call this fourth Sunday of Lent, Letare Sunday, the Sunday of rejoicing. <coughs> and it is because this Sunday marks the halfway point in our Lenten journey. We have turned the corner, and now we can see our de destination getting closer in the distance. Ahead of us, we can see Good Friday and the cross of Jesus Christ. And just beyond that, Easter morning and the light streaming from the empty tomb. So we rejoice today because we know that in the cross of Christ, we find the tender mercies and forgiveness of our God. St. Paul tells us in today's second reading, God is rich in mercy, as we just heard. Because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, God brought us to life with Christ. And God is this, not, be not because we deserve it, not because of anything we have done. God saves us and gives us new life simply because he loves us. Simply because we are precious in his eyes. In our first reading from the book, second book of Chronicles, we hear how God loves his people like his own child. But as we hear, they did not love him in return. As we heard, the people added infidelity to infidelity, until finally, God's enemies came and carried them off into exile. <clears throat> but Israel's sin was not the end of her story. In his compassion, God sent them free from their captivity, and he called them home to rebuild their temple, to live with him in love and faithfulness. So, my brothers and sisters, this story of Israel is the story of our lives. God did not leave Israel in exile, and he does not leave us in captivity to our sins and transgressions. Sin will never get the last word, not in our lives and not in history. And I was thinking how the whole meaning of our religion is summed up in the words that we hear in the gospel today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. In these beautiful words, we hear God's plan for our lives. God created us out of love. And that's why he sent his only son into this world out of love for each one of us. Love is why he gave his life for us on the cross. That's how much he loves us. And there is no greater love than to lay down our life for one another. This is the beautiful plan of love. Each of us can say, as St. Paul used to say, Jesus loved me and gave himself for me. So my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is waiting for us now to give our lives to him, to love him as he has loved us. He's waiting for us to respond to his love with all our hearts, with all our strength. So today, in this beautiful Letare Sunday, let us ask for that grace today. Let us ask for the grace to keep going, to work hard during these final weeks of Lent. Let us try to get rid of anything in our lives that stands in our way, anything in our lives that keeps us from giving our lives totally to God, as he gave his only son for us. So these weeks of Lent, as we know, are a good time for uh, keep working in our prayer life, and also especially to be open to ask forgiveness for our sins. So it's a good time 
to make a good confession. Jesus tells us today, whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done by God. That's what confession is all about. Looking at our lives in the light of Christ, looking at our lives truthfully. As we heard today, Jesus comes to save us, not to condemn us. So we have nothing to be afraid going to confession. We just come, we tell the truth about our sin and weaknesses, and the Lord shows us his merciful love and forgiveness. And we experience the peace and joy that God wants for us. It's a beautiful uh, sacrament, just thinking of the graces that we receive and the love of God and the mercy of God for each one of us. Also, let's not forget that God, God has a mission for us. St. Paul reminds us today that we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. What St. Paul is telling us is that we have been saved for a reason. Jesus loves us and saves us so we can share his love and help, and help him to save others. Every one of us has a duty to do these good works, to see God's will and to lift up Jesus and proclaim him by the way we live in our lives. So this season of Lent is a time to renew ourselves, to keep growing in our love for God, and also to share the beauty of the presence of God in our lives and the people around us. So every one of us has a duty to do these good works, to seek God's will and to lift up Jesus and proclaim him by the way we live, as I said. So we need to love the world just as God does. We need to proclaim to our neighbors, to our neighbors and friendlies and friends and family, that God wants every person not to perish, but to have eternal life. So today, let us again open our hearts to this beautiful time of Lent. And let's ask Mary a blessed body for her intercession. May she help us to give our lives to Jesus as she did, and to shine his light in the world, that the world might be saved through him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.